do sketches and paintings every day. That's my full-time job. Not only is Carla an artist, but she's also a huge advocate for protecting artists' rights in this new age of AI. She's part of a class action lawsuit alleging copyright infringement by several generative AI companies. A lot of it is basically the entirety of my work, the entirety of my peers' work, the entirety of almost every artist I know's work. And all was done without anyone's consent, no credit, no compensation, no nothing. In the meantime, she's protecting her work using a tool made at the University of Chicago where a ragtag team of professors and PhD students are embarking on a very bold mission to poison artificial intelligence models. Nightshade is a research product that's meant to sort of uh, restore the balance, if you will, between uh, content owners and AI companies that are trying to scrape and download content for training purposes. Ben Zhao, Heather Jang, and their team are capitalizing off how AI models read images. For example, if you ask a model to create an image of a dog from scratch, it's going to look at hundreds, thousands, millions of photos of a dog to train itself on what dog looks like. Sean Chan shows us how things normally look in a popular model like Stable Diffusion XL. In this case, we asked the model to generate uh, me using a sample of 30 images we provided. The results, not terrible. These are pretty good. Um... I mean, I have some of these suits, so that's <laughs> okay. Yeah, I would say that's like a like an eighty percent, eighty percent for close, sure. yeah, yeah, like this. Enter Nightshade, which hopes to make that zero percent. Yeah. So Nightshade, the idea is uh, to take an image, to take an image that potentially used for AI training. Uh, we add changes, small changes to this image, so that the image looks similar to its original content, but to the AI model, it looks like something that's completely different. The software adds a layer of noise to my 30 images, enough to throw the AI model off, but not enough to be visible to the human eye. So here, as you can clearly see, there are some texture in the original one, but it got more or less removed or noised out. We feed these slightly altered images back into the generative AI models, and the results, well... Oh my, oh my god. That doesn't look like anything. <laughs> I turned into a cat. The model don't see your face, and instead they see cat faces because of these small changes. For artists like Ortiz, it offers protection. It might be impossible to stop AI models from scraping her work, but with Nightshade, she can mess up the way they see it. Nightshade is an attack. Nightshade is just saying, hey, if you take this without my consent, there might be consequences to that. Stability AI, the company behind the AI we tested, did not respond to NBC's request for comment. Like other AI companies, they offer an opt-out that artists can use to request that their work not be scraped. Zhao says the goal isn't to make AI models unusable. It's making companies pay for the artist's work. They need to take in more human-created content. And if they're going to do that, then they should pay for it. And so this is trying to encourage them, if you will, to do that. One cat transformation at a time. You know, I mean, if you look really close, like maybe I do have some cat-like pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.